that gives all, though but little, gives much, because God looks not the quantity of the gift, but the quality of the giver, says Qualls. Yes, attitude matters, not merely action. Dear friends, in this episode, I would like to reflect with you on the virtue of generosity. If there is happiness among the poor, peace in society, understanding among human beings, and a future for students, it is undoubtedly because of this particular virtue, generosity. Father Damien had given his life completely to the service of the lepers on the Molokai Island. He nursed them built houses for them, counseled them, made them coffins when they died. After 12 years of total involvement, he came to the altar on one Sunday morning in June 1885 for his regular mass for the lepers. At the homily after the gospel, instead of his usual greeting of my dear brothers and sisters, he said, very slowly, we lepers. It was for the Damien's way of informing the lepers that finally he was one with them in their affliction. He lived for four more years there until his death, working even more closely with the lepers and fighting uncompromising attitude towards the scum of society was an inspiration for the world at large. Well, generosity is taught to the students at home by the parents, teachers at school, friends at the institutions, elders in the society. In fact, we are known for generosity. There are three salient features of generosity. One, giving is the core of human relationships. For giving, you need to be a person who recognizes the importance of love. If we hate love, we can't give. If we don't love, we can't live peacefully. Hence, love leads to generosity. Dear students, in the school, if you love the subject and if you love the teacher, you will be generous in spending time to study and perform well. If the family is lovable, they will be generous in many ways. Two, giving adds meaning to life. The real happiness is giving and the one who gives receives it. It adds value and meaning to the person's life on earth. They may forget the person to whom they gave, but the individual who received will never forget your generosity. Dear students, in the school, you can be very generous in listening, volunteering yourself for any type of work, and you should be generous in future to the institution and to the teachers. That gives meaning to your real life. Three. The amount you give is the amount you get back. Life is considered as an echo. When you help others, you get back. When you give your smile, you get back. When you speak a kind word, you get back. When you appreciate others, you get back. When you do good, you will get back. That's why Rig Veda 1, 125.5 says, He who gives liberally goes straight to God's on the high ridge of heaven, he stands exalted. Hence, let's not hesitate to give. Yes, my dear friends, by being generous, you may lose wealth, but not happiness. Whereas, by being stingy, you may not lose wealth, but you will lose happiness. My dear friends, what are we waiting for? Come, let's start the joyful journey of generosity. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver.